Welcome back, everybody. Hey, it's Joey. And it's David. And this is another Downtown Brew Review. It is. Um, today, we are doing Zeus Juice. It's a collaboration between Angry Chair Brewing out of Tampa and Westbrook Brewing out of where? Just say where on there? Uh, Westbrook. Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Ooh. So we got Tampa, we got Florida, and South Carolina. So they're not mm. that far from each other. Oh, so this is gonna taste southern, eh? Yeah, we're definitely hit it, hitting it with these uh, collabs. We definitely remember the. Oh, geez, can't, we're talking about Burley again. Burley and the Evil Twin collab. That was really good. That was actually the cherry cola. Flute. Dude, the um, the two sours we did. Uh, it wasn't a sour. It was the banana. Yeah, yeah, these cans right here. <laughs> we have the cans from the, la the last ones. This is a collab. This is a collab. We got Definitive, Brick City, and then we got Fat Orange Cat with uh, Alvarium. We, we're doing a lot of collabs over here. But See, the main focus today... It's friendship. Friendship. Collaboration. That's what it's all about. Yeah, you know? a David and Joey production since 2008 See, when, established when i look for a beer i want some, something that tastes like friendship and that's what i'm hoping for in this one all right so go ahead read the review while i uh dive into this all right so as simply stated it's an ambrosia inspired sour ale with tangerine pineapple cherry coconut lactose and marshmallows simple 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 so it has and all the fixings and it's only four percent abv that's very low. <laughs> so we're probably not going to taste the alky in it, but... Um, that's the case of, like, I always knock things for having low ABV, but if the flavor's good, that's all that matters. Did you try this yet? Yeah, but I don't really remember what it tastes like. Okay. So I feel like I'm going in kind Someone of just, blind. like, men in black to you, actually. I so. That's kind of how it feels, man. Like, I don't remember any of this. Color looks really good. It kind of looks like a wine. Yeah, it's, uh, very red, very fruity, um... Smells good. The fruits that are in this, that the cherry. I'm getting that wet dog, but that's just because you, we're outside. Oh my I'm god! I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking it this time. See, okay, hold. On. Get your nose really right on that glass and smell it. Are you getting wet dog still? I mean, it's I, not as bad. Because I'm telling you, man, I, it, maybe your nose is really sensitive. It's not. To, it's it, okay. It is sensitive to smells. I can smell things very well. I think well. this smells great. It I, smells good. I'm just saying when you're outside and wind like blows across, it does it with water. It's like crop dusting you. Yeah. <laughs> I can get you a glass of water right now and you, I'll have you smell it and it'll smell like wet dog. I have a terrible... Wet dog. I have a terrible sense of smell. So, like, my nose has to be right on something to smell it and I think that works for me in this. But I am no longer judging a beer based off of the smell, especially <laughs> okay. if we're going to keep doing beer reviews outside. Yeah. And that's where we're at. So, we're outside. Got to keep it a fair assessment. All right. Um, all right. Taste. All, all right. right. My favorite part. Down the hatch, me boy. Mm. Very good. I don't hate that at all. Yeah, I like this. Um, this is actually ooh, I get that pineapple. Dude, I kind of like. I don't. I don't know. If it's just me, but I'm getting a lot of the marshmallow. I feel like marshmallow kind of hides sometimes. I don't uh, know. Yeah, marshmallow. I. I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting get marshmallow and pineapple. And here's the, here's the big kicker right here. Don't tell me it's a tangerine. No, I don't. I don't taste it. I don't, I don't taste the tangerine and, either. And I went like, on a whole rant before. And you're like, "Hey, I'm a tangerine." No, I went on a rant before where I just felt like tangerines just like try to, you know, you be a party pooper and just make it, it all about them. You know, they're very self-absorbed and they're narcissistic. It's all about them. Yeah, you know what? Screw I mean, I have I have friends I still that are you. like that. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, all I'm trying to say. No shade is this beer i'm getting a little bit of everything um, oh yeah i, I, I the initial taste i taste that cherry but then it like how do i not remember this transforms. this is a very memorable thing right now i'm gonna remember dude. this forever i'll tell my grandkids about this yo one. that's great i hope you do and if you don't then i'm gonna whack you in the head with a two by four. Oh man dude <laughs> like i definitely so i don't taste the coconut but it's funny because initial taste is the cherry and then it like automatically transforms into the pineapple so i know we've given beers points before because we're like Oh, I'm really worried it was going to taste too much like coconut. Ugh. But because we're not really crazy about coconut. So in, in my opinion, I'm happy that the coconut is very backseat to the other flavors. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be. This is like a, uh, an experience in itself. Now, rating time. I am going to have to be brutal with this one. 
Why? Be because I feel like they could have done something to make it not 4%. I mean, I am going to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't want to knock things. If this was higher, like... 4.8? 6%? Uh, upper 4%. I'm fine with that. Okay. Like, Burl Yoke, um, what is it, 4.8 for Eight. theirs? Most of theirs. Yeah, we gave our first fives, aw, to um, Burl Yoke <laughs> Dream Sours. Uh, and they were 4.8, so it's not like I can't give a five to something that's low ABV. Um, but just because of that, not giving you a five, but I will give you a very noble 4.75. That's where I'm at. So how about how are you? Where you at? Okay, so flavor tastes awesome. Um, if if they could have added, I don't feel like I'm I'm in the same boat as you. Um, only because like if they could have uh, increased the ABV on this, it probably would have just been right up there. With, yeah, with like them. you know what's interesting is I've like seen people knock beers for being uh, high ABV because they're like. Oh man, I, it's I can't crush these, you know. I'm gonna get super drunk or something. I don't know. They like have a really weird reason every time. Why would you want to crush these? I feel like the, the flavor is so. See, good. I'm the kind of guy that's like to have one beer and just sip on it for a while and enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, but like I, these are great. Like I'm trying to savor that flavor, you know. I'm not trying to just like, you know, wreck it. I'm <laughs> dude, savor the flavor. Yeah, I mean, uh, you savor got these wreck it the routes flavor. out here, just trying to go all in, but savor the flavor, just. Cheers to it. I'm going to give it a 4.5. That's noble. Um, it's honest. Uh, I don't hate it. And judging by the average that it typically gets, it's it's better than the average. Better than the average bear is what, what this beer I'm rating. Uh, average, it gets about <laughs> 4.25, but a 4.14 on 5,000 check-ins. Okay. So that's pretty so, yeah, gnarly. This is, this is a, like everyone in on Untapped has voted this as a 4.14. That's up there. It's, it's pretty good. Um, All I'm going to say to, you know, finish this off is that if you can get your hands on some Zeus juice, you better get it. And you got this from Clayton Liquors? Yep, Clayton Liquors. Raj will hook you up. Uh, Clayton, New Jersey. Go there. Um. Uh, Hit us up in the comments down below. Yep. Social um, media, Facebook, Instagram. You I know, mean, the whole shebang. All the work. Friend request us on Facebook. We might not yeah, approve it. But. Um, swipe on this guy on Tinder. You're on there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Yeah, no, I'm good. No, you can, <laughs> if you see me and you're like, yeah, sure, whatever. But, you know. All right. Um, um, we are getting off tangent here. Um, stay tuned. We're only three days away. From getting me out of order. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. So, on that note, until uh, until next time, this has been a Downtune Brew review. Stay classy. <laughs>